Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe and this is Jordan's Journey YouTube channel, your number one resource to help you grow in faith. If you're new, welcome. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today family, I wanted to talk to you in regards to the seasons are changing. The seasons are changing and you're entering a season of leisure and recreation. Okay, an, ext an extended period of leisure and recreation. Okay, and so in Ecclesiastics 3, it tells us there's a time for everything. There's a time for everything under the sun. Okay, and it says Ecclesiastics 3, chapter 3, it says a time, there's a time to tear down and a time to build. Okay, so many of you... I know that God has relocated you and planted you into new territories, into new cities, and you were going through the process of tearing down. You were tearing down old ways. You were tearing down old habits, and God was rebuilding you. He was rebuilding you on a solid foundation. So during that, that process of rebuilding and laying down that solid foundation, many of you may have been in that isolation period. And so the, the season is changing from a time to tear down and a time to build uh, to a time to, to dance. There says there's a time to mourn and a time to dance. And many of you may have even been mourning your old selves, your old lives, but you are entering a time to dance, okay? A time to enjoy the fruits of your labor and what God is rebuilding and God is allowing you the opportunity to to be able to enjoy and and have leisure and laugh you know that is that is a gift that is a gift and sometimes we can take that for granted but God is saying that this is this is a time to to enjoy to enjoy what you've been working on, what you've been building um, when you were in that season of building and isolation. And so I want to, and it's, it's just like a vacation. God has been talking to me about vacation, especially while I'm visiting family. And when I looked up vacation, it said an extended period of leisure and recreation, especially one spent away from home or in traveling, okay? So an extended period of leisure. And yes, there is biblical scripture that there is a time to dance and there is a time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. It says, what do, Ecclesiastes 3, chapter 3, verse 9, what do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burden God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in his time. And I love this scripture because it says, I have seen the burden that God has laid on the human race. So God has intentionally laid a burden on the human race. Okay. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He's made everything beautiful. So everything is going to be beautiful. So you're like this, this work of art, God's masterpiece. And he's saying that everything, you will be beautiful in its time. And that's why it's so important to give yourself time. That's why it's so important not to rush your process. I talked about that in a previous video. Because there is a time for everything where everything is going to come and come together. And it's going to be so beautiful. And the thing, in its time, it's not in our time. And it's, it's in God's timing. Because there's already a time set apart. And that's why it's so important to understand that you can't call something late. You can't say you're a late bloomer. Or you can't say you feel behind because there, everyone is on God's timing for their own specific life, for their own specific destiny. So how can you call something late, but you don't even know the timing of it? So this is an intentional burden that God has placed on us, essentially to help grow our faith. Because you know that it's going to happen. You just don't know when it's going to happen. Continuing on, it says, He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet, no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for people 
than to be happy and to do good while they live. While they live. There is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live, that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in all their toil. That is the gift of God, that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction. To be satisfied is to be fulfilled, to be fulfilled in your work, to be fulfilled. God has given you territory. You're working the land. You're toying the land. You should be fulfilled in the work that you're doing. This is the gift from God that you may eat and drink. So what do, when you eat and drink, you're at social gatherings. So there is a time to socialize. There is a time to enjoy, you know, the fruits of your labor. That is a gift. And that is the season that we are entering into, family. God has tear, he had to tear some walls down, tear some idols down. He's rebuilding you. And now you're in a season of enjoying the fruits of your labor, you're in a season of dancing, you're in a season of laughing. I talked about get ready to laugh, okay? Ecclesiastes 3 says, Ecclesiastes 3 chapter 22 says, so I saw that there is nothing better for a person to enjoy their work because that is their lot. Another word for lot is that is their portion. There is nothing better for a person than to enjoy the work. So if you are somewhere and you're not enjoying the work, that is not the will of God. And that is also a sign that it's time to move on. That that period or season that God had you somewhere, that time has come to an end. And it's time to be seeking God for your next move. It's time to be understanding that it's time to close one door and God has another door open for you. Okay, so you shouldn't be anywhere where you're not enjoying the work because that is not the will of God. Okay, so God is saying you are entering into a season of leisure, a season of laughter, and it's time to enjoy the work you've done. The pro you've gone through the process. You you were able to rebuild on a solid foundation, and it's time to enjoy. It's time to enjoy, okay, family? That's all I have for now. God loves you so much, and so do I. Bye.